I regret buying the New Balance 530s. Welcome to my five month review on these New Balance 530s. So first things first, I bought these back in May and since they are so hard to find in person, I had to buy them online. I got them at Kix Crew for a whopping $190, which off bat is, obviously I overpaid for these things, but you know, they were cute, they're trendy. I thought it was a versatile shoe. I was like, okay, I can wear it with like a, a cute outfit, a dress, or I could also wear it to the gym. So I was like, it's like a two in one deal. The actual price of these shoes on the website though were $140, but I had to pay a mandatory $35 for shipping because there was no option for free shipping. And then I had to pay taxes, which was another 15. Um, now let's get down to the shoe. So I got them pretty quickly in the mail. Um, off bat, when I put them on, they, they're really comfortable. Like they're very light. They're breathable, um, they're, they seem comfy, but in the long run, they are actually, in my opinion, really cheap shoes and not that comfortable. My first issue with the shoe is the quality. Uh, as you can see, the net is torn on both shoes. And that happened honestly within like the first few weeks, like definitely within the first month of having these, the net ripped which i was like okay like it's not that big of a deal but like really like why why is it already ripping second of all as you can see the back is like completely torn out on both and there's this like little thing that is like coming out and stabbing me as i walk so I mean, I've only had these shoes for five months. Like, why are they ripping them apart? Second issue. So upon putting these shoes on, they do feel really light and comfy, but they really don't have any arc support. Like, if it really comes down to exercising in them, I absolutely do not recommend these shoes. I have an insert in here that helped my um, arc here, but my shoes are really dirty. They're pretty much flat at the bottom. So if you wanna go for a run, I highly do not recommend these shoes. So as I mentioned earlier, I was thinking that I could use these shoes as my fitness shoes as well. And I went for a run with them and I literally mid run, I just stopped. I was like, I cannot run in these shoes. It's so uncomfortable. There's absolutely no support. Um, my feet were literally hurting and I was just like, no. So at that moment I was like, okay, these are clearly not running shoes, even though they specifically say a New Balance running on them, um, would not recommend. I only wear them basically to walk around, which also if you live in New York and you're doing a lot of walking, they're still not the most comfortable shoes. For the price, I just cannot justify the quality of the shoe that you're getting. I don't know when these shoes came out, but I know these were out when I was like in high school. So these have been out for like, whatever, probably over 20 years. And I just feel like in 20 years, New Balance, like the technology of the shoe hasn't improved. I mean, I used to work for Nike and they're constantly improving their technology behind their shoes. And like New Balance, I think this is just overpriced because it's trendy and it's not actually like a high quality shoe. So just keep that in mind when buying these shoes. If you just want to do some light walking and look cute, get them. But if you're trying to use this as like a shoe that you could also work out in or something, I'd pass. Like I said, they ripped really fast. I've only had them for five months. And I just feel like for that price, I mean, I'd honestly skip the trend and just buy another pair of shoes that are still cute and popular. I mean, I'd get Solomon's, I'd get, I get just like another pair of Nike shoes, um, Hoka's, like I just feel like for this price, for the almost $200 price tag, it's not really worth just the trend. So that's my review on these shoes. Hopefully that helps you making your decision and um, comment if you have any questions, I'll answer them and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.